I'm currently working on a site that has a major traffic drop, and I wanted to point out something that stuck out that some of you may not be aware of. Now, I found a local site that is similar to the site that I am working on. However, I am not working on a local site. It is an actual affiliate site, but they are doing this as well. So take a look at your website, and if you're dealing with keyword cannibalization or topical cannibalization, and you can't figure out why the page is cannibalizing, this is something you want to take a look at. If you don't understand what keyword cannibalization is or how to find it, I'll link you to that in the description. Now this comes into play if your brand name has your main keyword in it or a partial match keyword. So for instance, this is dallasplumbing.com. That is their URL. This is a company in Dallas and they are a plumbing and air conditioning company. So Dallas Plumbing, Dallas Plumbers, Dallas Plumber, all of those keywords they would be targeting within pages of their website. Even if the URL didn't have Dallas but only had plumbing, this or vice versa, this is still something you need to look at if you are dealing with keyword cannibalization. You want to pull up your website and take a look at all of your internal pages. For instance, this is a page that is targeting air conditioner replacement in Dallas, Texas. But when you take a look at their meta title, you can see that yes, they are targeting AC replacement in Dallas, Texas. Upgrade your cooling system at the very end of their meta title is the name of their company, which is Dallas Plumbing and Air Conditioning. A lot of the SEO plugins will automatically put your site name at the end of each meta title or the actual WordPress theme can also cause this to happen. But if you have a keyword that is, is being targeted on other pages, such as Dallas Plumbing, you do not want Dallas Plumbing and Air Conditioning across every single page because you are targeting Dallas Plumbing within this meta title by mentioning your company name that just so happens to actually be one of your main keywords. And in this instance, not only has one of the main keywords, but also their city. Whether it's our brand name or not, we are targeting Dallas Dallas plumbing on an air conditioning page. So we want to be mindful of that. And if we are using a URL or a domain name or a business name is an exact match keyword or city plus keyword or even a partial match keyword, we need to make sure that it's not causing keyword cannibalization. An easy fix is to make sure that your site name or your site URL or your business name is not at the end of every single single meta title if in fact, it is targeting some of your main keywords. I plugged the site into SimRush and it actually has a lot of really crazy things going on with it. So we'll probably make a couple of videos within this website and SimRush put up a really beautiful chart to let you know that all of these pages are somewhat intertwined or intermingling. Now, just because you have set things up this way, it doesn't mean it's automatically causing you problems. One thing that Google is notorious for is that what upsets or turns one site upside down and causes you to lose all of your traffic isn't necessarily causing problems across every single site. So if you are dealing with a traffic loss, then this video is for you and something else that you can check into. If your site is doing well, this video is not for you and I don't want you to go through and start removing things from your website without first fully investigating properly. For instance, if I take a look at Dallas Plumbing Company, they seem to be in first position and none of those pages that I was worried about are coming into play. So my main point is to never start making changes to your site unless one, you've had a massive loss of traffic and two, you've actually investigated what the heck is actually going on. If I take a look at a different keyword, Dallas Plumbing and Air Conditioning, there was a period in time where a lot of their other pages started coming into play. However, they never broke 
or lost first position. I don't have access to their Google search console, so I can't tell you for certain if they're having keyword cannibalization issues. However, the way they set up their website is reason to go ahead and investigate to see what is going on. They may or may not be suffering from a traffic loss. So if you're dealing with keyword cannibalization and you have a keyword or even a city plus a keyword in your main URL or your branded name, take a look to see how you have your meta title set up. You just might have a problem that you were not aware of.